Hello everyone. This video is part of our online course on introduction to computer programming at Code Heroku. In this video, I'll be going over how you can set up your Windows computer to run C and C++ programs. So as we have seen in our first class, a compiler converts a human readable code to series of ones and zeros that a computer can understand. And to compile our C programs, We'll use perhaps one of the most well-known C compilers, which is the GNU C compiler. The Windows package of GCC is called as Minimalistic GNU Compiler or MinGW. Let's go ahead and download MinGW. So I'll go over your search on Google. Let's go to their official website, which is MinGW.org. Click on Downloads. And let's download the installation manager by clicking this link over here. Let's run it. So this is some standard stuff over here. I recommend that you don't change the installation path unless you have a very strong reason to do so. Let's say continue. Over here, we only need the MinGW C compiler, which is the MinGW base. And just to be future proof, let's also download C++ compiler. So click over here and say mark for installation. Next, go to the top over here where it says installation and say apply changes. And it might take some time to download and install these compilers. All right, so once this is done, let's go to our C drive and check if we have installed our compiler over there. And indeed, we see a new folder. Let's go inside this C drive MinGW folder. And let's go inside this bin folder. So this is the place where our GCC and G++ exe files are located. So usually we don't have to come to this folder and run the compiler from here. But instead, what we would like to do is be able to run these compilers from any other folder that we are working in. So let's see if we are able to do that. Let's go to our command prompt window. And let's type in GCC and press enter. So it looks like we are getting an error over here. What happened? We thought that we just installed it there, right? Well, we know that our compiler is located at C drive min GW bin folder, but our rest of the system doesn't know that. So how do you tell our computer the location of the exe files for the compilers? So to do that, we'll use something called as a path variable. So let's go and search for the environment variables of our system. And here is the path variable of our system. So whenever you run a command in a command prompt window, the first thing it does, it looks for that executable name in the current directory where you are in. If it can't find that exe file over there, then it looks through all the paths which are mentioned in this path variable over here. Let's copy our C drive minGW bin path and add it to this list of path variable. And say OK apply now be sure that you close your command window and open it again now try gcc again and you should see something like this even though it looks like an error all it is saying is we haven't provided the c program that we want to compile and that is fine but at least now we know that C compiler is installed on our system and we are able to run it. So this is the file where I have written my C program. So let me just go ahead and open this in sublime text. So what we see over here is our first C program. And don't worry if you don't understand everything because in the next class we'll go over each line in detail. But today I want to show you how a compiler converts this human readable program to something that our computer can understand. So next I'll open my command window and change the directory using the cd command. 
to go to this folder where I have stored my file. So now we are in this directory. Next, the name of our C compiler is DCC. So I'm going to say DCC. Let's give the name of our file, which is hello.c and a bunch of flags. And let's name the output file as hello. So I'm going to say dash o hello. Let's press enter and run this command. So as you see over here, we have produced the output file, which is hello.exe in this folder. Let's go ahead and execute this exe file. And there it is. It says, hello, I'm your computer and I can do things that you can't. 